Hi, everybody. Happy 2021. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of the Kaylee G Show. I'm Kaylee G and I am exhausted. Uh, only one week into the new year and uh, it's already a shit show, but if it's one thing I think that we've all learned, it's that we can uh, endure shit shows. At least some people are coming around or at least backing out before uh, they end up going to prison too. I'm really excited for this week's episode. I've got my good friend Nick Ambarian on from Bayside. And if you know anything about Nick, you know he loves Star Wars. Now, I asked you guys how you felt about Star Wars and got a response that said, when it's on TV, I enjoy it. And when it's not, I don't think about it at all. That is basically how I feel about Star Wars. Uh, please don't give me any shit. We don't need that negativity in 2021. I still love Star Wars just fine. But I am not a worthy adversary in Star Wars trivia. So I got his girlfriend who was quarantining in Canada at the time to jump on the call and battle Nick in Star Wars trivia. Here is an excerpt from that battle. Okay. I good. don't have too many more. I wanted to kind of keep this not terribly long. <laughs> These are all Nicole's toys, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, okay. So Nick. What planet was Django Fett from? Um, like technically or overall? Mandalore, but I think it's Concord Dawn. Do you really think that I I don't know. There's two there's kind of two <laughs> answers. Ask me Back check it, Kaylee. Back check it. <laughs> what what shit. answer do you have? Mand Mandalore? Okay. I think also, technically he's from a moon of Mandalore, but Good Lord, man. <laughs> um hint. Um, okay, Nick. The Empire yes. Strikes Back primarily takes place in two sectors. The Sluis sector, se is that right? Sluis sector? That includes the Dagobah? Dagobah, okay. Dagobah. Yeah. okay Dagobah, thank you. Uh, system, and this sector that includes the other planets in the film. Oh. No clue. You stumped me. <gasps> really? I stumped you? Yeah. Do you want me to ask Vector? again? Vector? No. Okay, I don't do know. you want me to give you a hint? Because I don't recognize that other sector you said either, so I'm not sure that I am fluent on my sectors, unless it's something like... Okay, so I'll give you a hint. This sector has both Hoth and Bespin, and will be the location for the upcoming mobile game Star Wars Uprising. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I don't know sectors. <gasps> That's Anuat Sexton? Yeah, no clue. Never heard I don't that? recognize either of those that you just said. There you go. Does Give Nicole a many? hard one now. I could say I stumped you, but I did. You did fully. I fully don't even know. Okay. Like I could think, I could see the star map and figure I know where things are, but I didn't know it was divided up into sectors. I don't this think. This is exciting. Okay. <laughs> yes. Uh, Nicole, in the Battle of Yavin, what was Luke mm -hmm. Skywalker's call sign in the assault? Yavin's when they blow up the Death Star, right? The first one. Year. Yeah, okay. The first one. Uh, Red Five. Yep. <laughs> You're cheating. <laughs> oh, no. There's no way. <laughs> right here. Am I cheating? There's no way you know that. Uh, Nick, this character used uh, this character used to smuggle guns before opening a diner on Coruscant, and is partially named after George Lucas's son. Uh, it's Coruscant. <laughs> uh, it's Dexter. Dexter Jetster. Yep, you're right, and I think that you know, I deserve the tone because I stumped you. All right. <laughs> Bonus question. I just, I want you to know these things so you don't, in the future, say Coruscant. Thank you for saving me from future embarrassment when I talk <laughs> exactly. about this with my friends. Yeah. <laughs> when, when you're like, oh yeah, Coruscant, I'm like, oh shit. So, Nicole's nephew, Anders, I've been poisoning him with Star Wars uh, stuff from afar, and it's starting to work. Because awesome. there's these, I think last Christmas we gave him a, uh, there's something called like one minute or five minute Star Wars stories. And yeah. it's a book for kids and slowly it's working. Got I mean, a video yesterday of him like pointing at Darth Vader and being like, Gator. 
<laughs> calls him Gator. Thinks, it's calls adorable. Him Gator. That's adorable. <laughs> so he pronounces Star Wars about as well as I do. <laughs> yes. yes. No, he yeah. actually said Coruscant. As a follow-up, because that is obviously not all of the questions, I will be posting a separate video that has the full trivia challenge available so that you guys can play along, see how much you know, see how much you didn't know, fact check me because I don't know what I'm talking about. And let me know because trivia is really fun. So I think that maybe I should do some more trivia with some guests and maybe even doing a trivia challenge on Twitch. Let me know what you think. Another reason I'm super excited about this week's episode I am going to play a brand new song for you guys. I have never played this song live before. And the only people who've heard it are the people who were in the studio with me. Uh, so here's a very stripped down version of a brand new song called Happy Again. Thank you guys so very much for tuning into this week's episode of the Kaylee G Show. Next week, I will have the fantastic Frank Aero on with me. Please, until then, take care of yourselves and each other. Bye. You got married on a Monday When I was in L.A. Well, isn't that kind of funny? You must have been doing great Maybe I was sad I guess it must be the best day That you've ever had You got married on a Monday When I was in LA Well, maybe it's not that bad Cause I'm learning to be happy again And maybe it's just my
Yeah, it was colder. Was Didn't we look up? Than, yeah, it was colder yeah. than Antarctica or something. That's ridiculous. I can't believe that. <laughs> it's insane. So, you know, it was another crazy thing. So I think we left Iowa that morning and drove directly north to like, wait, was it north? No, it's directly south to Lawrence, Kansas. And went from like minus 26 to 26 degrees. We gained that many temperature, like that many degrees in like a couple of hours. And 26 degrees with just a hoodie on is really not that bad.